Interregnum and Civil War. Mahomet first reunites the empire. His successful reign, his death and character. Accession of Murat II, Siege of Constantinople, Civil War in Asia, Wars with the Serbians, Hungarians, and other nations, Victories of Hunyades, Treaty of the Segedin, Broken by the Christians, Battle of Varna, Skanderbeg, Second Battle of Kosovo, Deed of Murat. The, em the Ottoman Empire, which during the 14th century had acquired such dimensions and vigor, lay at the beginning of the 15th century in apparently irretrievable ruin. Besides the fatal day of Ankara, when it its veteran army was destroyed and its long victorious sovereign taken captive calamity after calamity had poured the first upon the house of Osman. Their ancient rivals in Asia Minor, the Seljukian princes of Karamania, Aydin, Kerm Kermian, and other territories which the, which the three first Osman sovereigns had conquered were reinstated by Timur in, the, in their dominions. In Europe, the Greek Empire accomplished another partial revival, revival and regained some of its last provinces, but the heaviest and seemingly the most fatal of the afflictions was the civil war which broke out among the sons of Bayezid and which threatened the utter distignation, distinguation and destruction of the re relics of their ancestral dominions. At the time of Bayezid's death, his eldest son Suleiman ruled at Adrianople. The second son, Prince Issa, established himself as an independent ruler at Bursa. After the Mongols retired from Asia Minor, Mohammed the youngest and the ablest of the brothers formed a petty kingdom at Amasya. War soon broke out between Mohammed and Isa, in which Mohammed was completely successful. Isa fled to Europe, where he sought protection and aid from Suleiman, who fought with, attacked Mohammed to that European Turkey and Asiatic Turkey, were now a riot against each other. The first Suleiman was successful. He invited Asia and captured Brusa and Angora. Meanwhile, the other surviving son of Bayezid, Prince Musa had, after his liberation by Timur, been detained in custody by the Seljukian prince of Kermia, through whose territories he was passing with the remains of Bayezid, which he was to bury at Bursa. The interposition of Mohammed had put an end to this detention and Prince Musa fought an, on Mohammed's side against Suleiman in Asia. After some reverses which they sustained from Suleiman in the first campaign, 
Musa persuaded Muhammad to let him cross over the Europe with a small force and effect a diversion in Muhammad's favor by attacking the enemy in his own territories. This maneuver soon recalled Suleiman to Europe, where a short but zingonary contest between him and Musa ensued. At first, Suleiman had the advantage, but the better qualities of his prince were not obscured by the debasing effects of habits of debauchery. He treated his troops with savage cruelty, and he put the grossest insults of his best generals. The result was that his army passed over the side of Musa, and Suleiman was killed while in the war ring to escape to Constantinople, 1310. Musa now was now master of the Ottoman dominions in Europe, and speedily, speedy, speedily showed that he inherited a full proportion both of the energy and of the ferocity of his father Bayezid. In an expe expedition which he undertook against the Serbian prince, whom he accused of having treacherously Aid Suleiman in the civil war. He is said to have not only practiced the customary barbarities of revenging the country, carrying off the male youth as captive and slaughtering the rest of the population, but according to the Byzantine writer Lucas, Musa caused the Caracases of the Serbian garrisons to be arranged as tables and a feast to be spread on them that which he entertained the generals and chiefs captains of the Ottoman army. The Greek Emperor Manuel Palagolius had been the ally of Suleiman. Musa therefore attacked him and besieged his capital. Palagelus called over Muhammad to protect him, and the Asiatic Ottomans now garrisoned Constantinople against the Ottomans of Europe. Muhammad made several gallant of unsuccessful sallies against his brother brother's drop and was obliged to recross the Bosporus to quell a, roll, a revolt that had broken out in his own territories. Musa now pressed the siege of the Greek capital, but Mohammed speedily returned to Europe and obtained the assistance of Stefan, the Serbian king. The armies of the rival Ottoman Breton were at last a riot for a decisive conflict of the plain of Chamurli, near the southern Serbian frontier. But Musa had alienated the loyalty of his soldiers. By conduct similar to that by which Suleiman's desertion and destruction had been caused while Muhammad was eminent for justice and kindness toward those who obeyed him, as for valor and skill against those who were his opponents. When the two armies were about to close in battle, Hassan the Aga of Inicheris, on the side of Mohammed, stepped out before the ranks 
and exhorted of his old comrades, who were on the part of Musa to leave the cause of a madman, madman from whom they met with constant outrage and humility and humiliation and a range of themselves among the followers of the most just and virtuous of the princes of the horse of Ottoma. And enraged at hearing of hearing his troops thus addressed, Musa rushed against Hassan and cut him down with his own hand, but was himself wounded by an officer who had accompanied Hassan. Musa railed back blending towards his own soldiers, who were seized with a panic, and broke their ranks, and fled in all directions. Musa invaded to escape, but was found by the pursuers lying dead in a marsh near the field where the armies had met. His deed ended the war of succession in the Ottoman Empire, for Prince Isa had disappeared some years before during the hostilities between Suleiman and Mohammed in Asia. Mohammed was now, after Musa's deed, the sole known surviving son of Bayezid. Sultan Mahmed, Maha, Mahomet I was surnamed by his subject Pehlevan, which means the champion. An account of his personal activity and prowess. His graciousness of disposition and manner, his magnanimity, his love of justice and truth, and his eminence as a discerning patron of literature and art obtained for him also the still more honorable title of Chalabi, which according to von Hammer von Hammer express, expresses precisely the same idea which is conveyed by the English word gentleman. Other Turkish sovereigns have acquired more celebrity, but Mohammed the champion and the gentleman deserves to be seated as one of the noblest types of the Ottoman race. His humanity and his justice are attested by Greek as well as by Oriental historians. His humanity and his justice are attested by Greek as well as by Oriental historians. He was through the life the honorable and firm ally by of the Byzantine Imperial. The dreaded fur of the rebellious Turkomans. The glorious bulkwart of the throne of Ottoman and his country histories term him the Noah who preserved the Ark of the Empire when mended by the Delic of Tartar invasions. After the fall of Musa, Mohammed received the, at Adrianople at Ibne, the ready hom homage of European subjects of the Ottoman Empire and the felicitations of the neighboring rulers. The Emperor Pedagolos and Mohammed had received reciprocally 
aided each other against Musa, and Muhammad Honorable showed his gratitude and good faith by restoring, according to promise to the Greek Empire, the strong place on the Black Sea and the Propontis and the Thessalian fortress, which had been previously wrested from it by the Turks. A treaty of amity was also concluded between the Sultan and the Venetians. The little Republic of Ragusa had in the reign of Mohammed's grandfather placed itself by treaty under the protection of the Turks and that treaty was now renewed with Sultan Mohammed. The ambassadors of the princes of Serbia, of the Wallachia of the Albanian prince, who reigned at Yania Nanina of the petty sovereigns or despots of the Morea, who after Bayezid's ruin has established themselves at Lais Daemon in, and in Asia came also before Mohammed at Adrianople. The Sultan received them all with friendly courtesy, and on their departure he said to them, Forget not to tell your masters to peace I grant to all, peace I accept from all. My May the God of Peace be against the breakers of the peace. A brief season of unusual calm was thus obtained for the countries westward of the Bosporus and the Hellespont. But Asia was seizing with insurrection and war, and Mohammed was speedily obliged to quiet his feast of peace at Adrianople to reconquer and secure his ancient possessions of his house. The important city of Smyrna and the Ad adjacent territory were at this period commanded by an Ottoman governor of the name of Junaid, who had resumed possessions of them after the Mongols had withdrawn from Asia Minor, and who had succeeded afterwards in ma making himself also master of the principality of Aydin. Junaid has submitted first to Suleiman af and afterwards to Mohammed as his sultan. But during the last civil war he had openly revolted against Mohammed, and he now aspired to make himself an independent sovereign. At the same time, the prince of Karamania had taken advantage of the absence of Mohammed and his best troops from Asia to attack the very head of the Ottoman Asiatic dominions, and had laid siege to Bursa. The city was, the city was well garrisoned and held out firmly against him, but he burned to the ground the mosques and other public buildings of the suburbs, and in the rage of the, his hurt against the race of Osman, he ordered the tomb of Bayezid, which was outside the city walls, to be opened and the remains of the sultan to be given to the flames. While the Carmenians were thus engaged, while the Carmenians were thus engaged in performing profaning the sanct sanctuaries of their own creed and in violating in the repose of the deed, they suddenly saw approaching them 
from the west by the funeral procession of Prince Musa, whose body had been borne by Muhammad's order from Europe to Asia for burial in, in the mosque of Murad at Bursa. <laughs>